early in the morning, the Weserstraße is quite a quiet and peaceful place. And above all, early in the morning, this street is like thousands of other streets in Berlin. Except that Weserstraße is in the thick of this so-called problem borough Neukölln. Migrants, dog shit and unemployment. That have been the topics here not all that long ago. A little later, at noon or even more at the afternoon, in secret and softly the picture varies. You can hardly realize it if you are not fed up with all of that already. Fucking fast came this to be in the past, let's say one and a half years. Suddenly they were all here, all these fucking students, artists, layabouts, the complete mob called creative class, always and permanently with these small suck beer club mate bottles in their hands. Suddenly the whole neighborhood was filled up to the back teeth with this folk and suddenly all was changing. The rents were no longer cheap. The drug dealers left the Reuterplatz. War houses closed. Instead we got open-minded and open-gendered galleries. Chunk dealer became to dealer in antiques. And dirty dog shit was turned into peaceful baby buggies. More general, this phenomenon is called gentrification. Meanwhile, a globalized term for shifting the blame on others. Greedy house owners, corrupt politicians, shortly the whole market economy pseudo-democracy blah. For the people who opened the bar Freies Neukölln several years ago, that has been the first suitable bar for the so-called scene, for those people that are speaking here and now, who kicked off and moved all this shit up, although nobody believed in their doing because some years ago nobody could buy into this hopeless part of Berlin. Nobody could think that this wasteland could ever be seen as a place that is worth to live in. For us all, this is a lot more difficult because it feels unwell. We are very sorry that we kicked off such a bad development. We don't like to be to blame, although a lot of things became better here. More often they clean the streets. More often you don't have to be frightened when you go down the Weserstraße in the night, because you always run across nice girls in pantyhose. But let's go back a little. Just let us remember what we wanted to do when we opened this bar. We opened the corner bar. Eckkneipe is this called in Berlin. A neighborhood place where everybody knows your name, where the waitresses are allowed to be in a bad mood when they are in a bad mood sometimes. Where the service staff is part of the community and not only the agent of the modern globalized service slavery. We did not intend to open an in place at an hotspot. We did not ask all these people from Friedrichshain, Prenzlauer Berg, Barcelona, Hanover, London or Rome to come around to have a beer in Neukölln. We did not bid anyone to stop in at Freies Neukölln. We just offered to be here and to serve some drinks and to cook some simple food if there is anybody who really wants to visit us. We like it when the cook serves what he has cooked for you himself. We like to offer a good coffee and a well-tasting beer. But what happened? 
now this whole international pack from all over Europe and Heidelberg and Dresden, Erfurt, Frankfurt and Münster, Bruchsal, Madrid, Milano, Athens, Hamburg, Freiburg, London, New York and Castro Brauxel marches into our neighborhood and assaults our actually friendly pub by night. They come in crowds of 50 to 30 people. They don't even look around when they enter the bar to have a look where they landed. First of all, they type bad critics in their smartphones on Kype or other complaint platforms in the internet as soon as they feel not as good served as the international Starbucks service slavery standard that they are used to from Münster to Barcelona has always and ever promised them. There is a completely unfriendly and slow service in this pub, although I intended to spend a tip of 20 cent. And the cook has to serve the meats himself, because... Uh, damn shit, have you ever considered that we never ever wanted and never ever want to conform to? Because we are not Starbucks and because we are not a cafe in Heidelberg, Barcelona, Rome or Bruchsal. We are still a corner bar in Neukölln. Did you ever consider that we are not keen on your parties, although they boost our sales? Maybe simply because your parties will be over in a little while, because all of you will stop partying when you have finished your bachelor or other fucking degrees. And when you will go back in your hometown to take over the business of your family in Münster, Freiburg, Stuttgart, somewhere in France, Italy or in Copenhagen. You hire your apartments here with all your assembled bonds of your parents. You stomp our borrow to death with this whole over-educated, self-contented superficiality. You are and you will ever be tourists when you don't stop to believe that you are not to blame. You are far too many people not to be guilty. And in the next step, the ones that stay here because they have an older brother that inherits the chancery of daddy, they will need delicatessen stores, good wine shops and certainly shops for children's collections because all this has to go one step further. We know Berlin is cheap. It's still cheaper than Milano or Nuremberg. But are you sure that you can demand your right for always more space, for more parties, for always more and fatter children wherever you are, only because you are cognitively able to communicate your wishes? That's not funny at all. And it will not become funny in future. But you should not believe that there is no coherence between your request. I would like to have a latte macchiato. I'm sorry, we don't have latte. Why not? Look around and live to see what the place is offering to you and stop to live a standard life in a standardized world. Please stop to face your neighborhood that thoughtless. It matters whether you try to live in Neukölln or whether you just live your important party here. Just because the fucked up free market economy expects us, for example, to satisfy your wishes because you have the money and the power at least afterwards, even though you refuse to believe in this fact now because you prefer to feel poor and not worth. But that's not the truth and you know that. So please, let's take care of each other in this sense. Cheerio. Have fun, but be on the alert. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>